The EMS safety helmet is a light rescue and industrial helmet. Your duty helmet is part of your personal protective equipment. It was designed with your safety in mind. The EN397 helmet is built for light industrial type head protection. You must wear it when responding to a scene where head protection is required. Some examples where top of head protection is required. Landing Zone Officer Construction Sites Unstable Ground Overhead Structures Building Collapse Car Crash with Passenger Inside Unstable road traffic accidents. Industrial sites with overhead beams. Dark interiors. Helmet parts. Face shield. Three point chain strap. Ratchet control knob. Neck lining. Safety ear muffs. Air vent, torch light, helmet with accessories, safety goggles, dual cartridge respirator. Make sure you have the helmet with accessories, helmet user manual safety goggles, and dual cartridge respirator. Remove the plastic backing from the face shield. Before wearing the helmet, Loosen all the straps before fitting. Ensure that the face shield is facing you before you wear it. To attach the three-point chain strap, insert the buckle into the mating clip until both snap together with a clicking sound. Pull the free strap at the buckle end to desired tightness. Attach the loose end to the Velcro to store. Pull the nape adjustment strap behind the ear to desired tightness. Ensure that the nape strap is below the earlobe. Proper positioning of the three-point chain strap. Nape strap should be below the earlobe.
rotate the ratchet knob clockwise to achieve a firm but comfortable fit around your head. Hold the face shield at the edges to avoid fogging, scratches, and other unwanted markings. Avoid placing your hands on the face shield plate. Safety goggles are used to protect your eyes from dust and airborne debris. It is recommended for use during sandstorms and dusty helicopter landings. The goggle strap is adjustable. Adjust your goggles to fit as shown. You should wear your goggles first before wearing the helmet. This setup is for sandstorms and dusty helicopter landings. Take note, helmet and goggles are on. Face shield is positioned down. And respirator is on. Use the neck lining to protect from the heat and airborne debris. Fold the liner as shown. When not in use, store the liner inside the helmet as shown. Adjust the ear muffs to fit your whole ear. Push the wireframe above the ear muffs to lock it into position. To remove the safety ear muffs, you must pull out from the wireframe as shown. Your torch already has batteries fitted inside. The batteries may leak or can damage the torch if left inside for a long time. Remember to remove the batteries when not in use. To install the batteries, position the on-off switch as shown. For the first battery, the positive end goes in first. Ensure that the battery is fitted properly inside. For the second and third batteries, the positive end goes in last. Screw on the torch head to achieve a watertight seal. Then, test the light. Carefully mount the torchlight as shown.
Your helmet bag will be issued with your name and corporation number. Your helmet is identified with your corporation number as well. Please take care of your helmet. It is part of your personal protective equipment. Do not leave your helmet unattended. Take care of the face shield as it can easily scratch. Remember to return the helmet in the bag when not in use. It is your responsibility to take good care of your helmet. 